nice sweet shop there. Some clothes up too. Maybe a euro shop. <laughs> but guys, November is uh, typically a uh, mental health month, so we said we'd make our story times a little bit more mental health focused. And all of this is completely stolen from the work of Brene Brown. She's a researcher into shame and vulnerability and courage and passion, what they actually mean and how they balance off against mental health. So we're going to talk about shame resilience. So first of all, we'll define some terms. The difference between shame and guilt is shame is I am a terrible person and guilt is I did something bad. Okay? Shame is identity and guilt is I made an action. Okay? So in CrossFit terms, that's like, you know, I didn't cure my fran, I missed my snatch, I'm a terrible CrossFitter, versus, okay, I didn't have the right technique, I didn't prep enough, or anything like that. <coughs> now, why shame is important to study is because when you feel shame, it uh, increases your likelihood of depression and other mental illness as well. And shame thrives under secrecy, holding it all to yourself, and then self-judgment, judging how bad you've been at something, you know? Looking in the mirror, giving out to yourself, that sort of stuff as well. Where shame disappears is empathy, and empathy comprises of courage, compassion, and connection. So the idea behind courage is they did studies from everyone, and kind of the most uh, stark example is soldiers. They asked them, were you afraid while you were like fighting someone actually trying to kill you? And they're like, yeah. So courage doesn't mean an absence of worry or fear, it's actually, you know, in the presence. You can only be courageous if you're worried or nervous about something as well. Compassion, we talked about it in our podcast, is basically being kind to yourself, understanding that you feeling a little disappointed <coughs> maybe coming in because you haven't lost the weight you wanted to lose or gotten your pull-up yet or all that, is understanding that everyone's going through this struggle. And then connection is, we've got a great team here, reach out and talk to someone, ask them. The flip side of that is it allows them to open up about what they're going through and they're not carrying around that stuff. So, it's November, it's mental health month, so that's a little bit about shame. If you want to learn more, uh, do a quick Google search for Brene Brown. She's got a TED Talk on it as well. She's loads of articles and loads of books on dealing with vulnerability, trust, shame, and uh, basically getting over bad emotions more towards positive emotions. Thanks, Dave. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Remember how Dave didn't take.